So I've had a couple of people ask me uh, <clears throat> to make a video on how to remove the pulley. So I've done some research because every time I've removed one, I've always had, you know, to where I could have the rear apron off the car or the engine was out of the car. Uh, but there, there's a few ways you could do it. Um, one way, I, I, I don't know. I, I really think it would be fine, but I'm a little weary of it. Is if it's installed in the car, um, you take either the metric size, which I'm not sure of, or the 1 and 3 16 um, wrench and put it in fourth gear, have the park brake set, and and turn it uh, while it's like that. Um, I wouldn't get crazy with it. One thing you can do to kind of assist with loosening it up just so you're not putting more stress on the engine than you need to is throwing a little bit of heat at it right here on the uh, crankshaft bolt or the pulley bolt <clears throat> and then throwing some PB blaster at it. Make sure it's nice and clean before you do that or it's just kind of you know, a waste. You sit there, you know, for a few minutes, don't don't get crazy with it. Don't let it, you know, start glowing red or anything. Um, but then, like I said, throws a PB blaster on it. And you can even try to go on the back side too, turn it a little bit. Um, I can tell you for sure that this one has been on here for at least five years because that's how long I've had it and I haven't touched it. This engine has not ran since I've owned it. Um, but if the engine's out and you have access to the flywheel, obviously, they sell a couple of uh, flywheel locks. I'll put that in the description um, and also post a picture here in a second of that. So you could do it that way. Uh, if it's installed in the car again, uh, you can try to have someone hold it with gloves and take that uh, big wrench and, you know, kind of try to knock it with a hammer on the top side of it just gently. You know, it, it's going to take a while, I'm sure, but that's one way. Um, the flywheel locks, I would definitely buy two of them because you, you risk breaking your case if you just have the one, you know, putting a lot of stress on it. But impact wrench, or impact gun rather, is, is the method I'm going to go with. And I'm going to try to do it without even holding the flywheel or anything. Let's see what we got. So another method with the engine out, use a piece of metal, uh, cut two holes in it exactly where the bolts go into the flywheel. Uh, use that as a brace. I'm going to try to um, have that breaker bar installed on the gland nut. There's a chance that the gland nut's just going to loosen. But we'll see if that's an option as well. Make sure you do not use the colors a brace Whew. oh Betsy good grief so I ends up uh, switching my brake bars that one doesn't have to have the extension so it's closer to it and put the longer one on the other side but I uh, just kept banging at it putting heat at it um, again the uh, heat blaster so I got it, so I'm gonna get this bolt out and then uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, so now that I got the bolt out, I bought this, I think, from Advanced Auto, Auto Zone, you know, something local. Um, but you can also, I'll show you a, a link and a picture here in a second of another version that's way lower profile. You could actually get it in there while you still have the engine installed. This is what I'm gonna use for this guy. This junk. So now we're just going to tighten it. And if you have any issues with the turning uh, the crank, you can just do the breaker bar on the other side, just like I did a second ago.
you got any questions, uh, put them in the comments, like the video, and subscribe. Thanks.